Welcome back. This is Cody with Wrangler Star. Today's video I'm going to cover 12 essential hand tools that every carpenter needs. In this video I'm going to share with you the 13 essential carpenter hand tools. If you were to show up on my job site with these tools in your tool pouch, you would have my respect. First off, we need a good way to carry our tools and nails. And we're going to start off with the tool belt. There's many different varieties of these. I prefer the ones with the loose pouches. They have more adjustment on them with a dedicated belt and a hammer loop in the back. I like the synthetics because the leathers, if you're working in water, are going to soak up all the water and they're going to become extremely heavy. So look for something synthetic and adjustable or the type that rides on a belt. Next is going to be a hammer. I really recommend and advocate the S-Wing framing hammers. For most guys, they're going to just be super durable. You can use them as pry bars. Um, just about, there's just about any job uh, that you use them for, they're going to be indestructible. Next is a speed square. Stay away from the plastic ones. The aluminum ones are much more durable. These are invaluable for layout, for marking, drawing straight lines on 2x4, 2x6, 2x8 materials. Next is a good combination screwdriver. What's nice about these is they're four screwdrivers in one. You have a number one and number two Phillips, and also a large and small standard. Next are two levels. Some people call these spirit levels because they're filled with alcohol so they don't freeze in the winter time. This is considered by a lot of people a torpedo level, and this is really good to have because it's small and compact and you can carry it in your tool belt. Next, you want a three or four foot standard framing level and uh, this will help you with uh, plumbing, walls, and uh, all different types of projects, including layout. Next, you want a good carpenter's knife or utility knife. Some people call it a drywall knife. Just takes a standard blade, and these are good for a any number of tasks. Next, you want a marking de device. Carpenter's pencils are great. They're durable. You can sharpen them with your utility knife, and they'll last a long time. Next, you want a good chisel, three-quarter to half-inch wide. It's very useful, rides in your tool pouch, and is just uh, always there for prying or gouging tasks. Next is a cat's paw. A cat's paw gets its name from its shape. It looks like a cat's paw, but this can be used with a hammer for removing nails that are sunk very deep. You can pound on the back, and the way it's designed, it's very effective for digging out stubborn nails that you want to remove on remodel projects. Last but not least is a standard Stanley style carpenter square. Stay away from the aluminum ones. They're just not as very durable as the steel. And uh, this is also good for layout, drawing lines, and a very uh, essential part of your kit. So that's it. That's my list of basic hand tools for most guys that want to be able to have the ability to do basic jobs, uh, home, repair, home repairs, and just little projects that might come up. I'll be expanding on this with the basic power tools and also tools that a guy could put together for a basic kit for plumbing and electrical. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and I'll be uploading those soon. So again, I thank you for watching and uh, new channel, this channel is, uh, I'll be uploading new videos weekly and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching. So we'll see you in the next one.